Eva's question was, have you ever really, really stopped to think about what the toys are thinking and doing over the holidays? So here's what I want you to do for me. If you're real, real quiet, and you think about your favorite toys at home, and you pay close attention, maybe we can get a glimpse into what your toys are actually thinking. Mrs. Marlowe and I have got a little story to tell you. And if we pay close enough attention, just maybe, just maybe, these toys will come to life for us. Miss Marlowe? It was the night before Christmas when all through the school, not a teacher was stirring. Now, wait, the teachers aren't even at school at night before Christmas. That's not right. Yeah, and, okay, so the teachers aren't even at school. Never mind that. The students at school were all nestled and snug at their desks. They were dreaming. No, wait a minute. Students aren't at school either the night before Christmas. Almost this year, but not quite. We're on our way home. No, the students were all snug and nestled in their beds at home. While visions of homework danced in their heads. Well, no, no, visions of homework didn't dance in their head. Visions of their toys danced in their heads. I just got a candy cake. Did you see that? You got one too? No, that's nice. Well, anyway, so the visions of their toys danced in their heads. There was little Bo Peep. Here she comes, give it up for Miss Bo Peep. She's always been my hero. And along with little Miss Bo Peep, there were the United States Army soldiers, you know, the kind you got for Christmas and you got to play with all the time. Oh, they're really my heroes. They're the ones I used to like to shoot little rubber bands at across the room. Yeah, oh, well, never mind. It's okay. And, of course, there was Ham. You know, the piggy bank. You know, the one you're collecting all your money in. You put the little quarter in the top and the little dime. Well, there she is right now. Oh, I used to love my little piggy bank. It was my absolute favorite. Well, and then, of course, there was that favorite toy that all the 8th grade boys were dreaming about. Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Dora. There she is. Dora the Explorer. It looks like Dora's been in Spain. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So there was also... There was also giraffe. You know, the great big stuffed animal. Oh, I used to love the giraffe, you know, with all of his stripes and everything. It was so cool. And spots. I, I love their spots. And there was Wheezy the Penguin, you know, on his march all the way to Antarctica. I love Wheezy. Oh, Wheezy, you're my favorite. And of course, there was Santa. You know, Santa from the South Pole. Yeah, yeah, well, where's Santa here? Oh, maybe Santa's still at the South Pole on his way to the North Pole. But anyway, Santa was there. And then, of course, there was my favorite. Oh, there comes Santa, you know, from the South Pole. <laughs> there he is, right? He's the guy that gave us the candy canes. Oh, God. Hi, Santa. Hi, how are you? I love Santa. He's not your typical North Pole Santa. He's kind of, well, it's a long story, okay? Oh, no, no. <laughs> and then of course there was my my favorite toy you know the one that you know mr vince and it, well anyway it was jesse the cowgirl all right how exciting is jesse the cowgirl give it up for jesse the cowgirl And then, of course, there was everybody's favorite. You know, you know who I'm talking about. The one, the only, the guy, the greatest cowboy of all time. The only guy without a gun. Woody the Cowboy. What a match. <laughs> Woody the Cowboy was a very jolly toy. 
He had lots of fun, he was the only one with, with the other toys like to play. Little Bo Peep, she had a crush on Woody, they say. Well, the giraffe, see, the giraffe tried to get them together one day. But Jesse was gonna get in the way. There must have been some jealousy in Jesse's heart that day. For when they tried to sneak a kiss, Jessica roped little Bo Peep away. And then all of a sudden, right when Jesse thought she had everything under control and was just about to steal the kiss from Woody, who burst onto the scene, but your favorite action hero, give it up for Buzz Lightyear! Then came the spaceman who invaded Woody's spot. Woody tried to play, but Buzz shoved him away. Cause he was as cold as ice that day. Now Woody wanted to play and become Buzz's friends, but Buzz said he would not. Buzz Lightyear was a hyper toy and he loved to bounce around. But when he tried to fly, he never got off the ground. So in all of his frustrations, he decided, well, he decided to take it out on Woody. And all of a sudden, it was Christmas night, and Woody and Buzzer were in this big struggle. And I'm telling you, all of a sudden, Woody's arm gets ripped off. Oh, my goodness. I mean, his arm was completely gone. It wasn't even there. It was like the end of the world. But all of a sudden, almost like the Grinch, Buzz's heart began to melt. He felt a sense of friendship coming on. And all of a sudden, Buzz realized what doing the right thing was. You see, Buzz sewed his arm back on and they became good friends that day. And the toys had fun and when it was said and done on a wonderful Christmas day. Oh no, wait a minute. It was right at that moment though, from out of the vending machine, just when you think the story was at a happy ending, all of a sudden out of the vending machine burst Emperor Serga! Emperor Serg! Oh no! And, and Emperor Zerg, he wanted to destroy the toy soldiers. And Emperor Zerg attacked the toy soldiers. And all of a sudden, he was about to attack Buzz and Woody, but who was there to save him? Of course, Santa! Santa from the South flew over. He took Emperor Zerg out with one blow from the South Ball. And all of a sudden, Buzz and Woody and Jesse all live happily ever after on that wonderful Christmas day. Let's give it up for all your favorite toys.